Howdy folks, welcome to Brain Rodgers. Today we'll be talking about Fast and Furious 9, its new final trailer, and we're unpacking all the Easter eggs and references you missed. At the beginning of the trailer, we get Vin Diesel talking to the audience about coming together to watch movies at the movies, which in most areas we can actually finally do. Most importantly, he mentions how we use movies to escape. This reminded me of TikToker Straw Hat Goofy, who broke down the Fast and Furious franchise as a whole. He was talking about it as how it's a platform, it's a form of entertainment that is used not to make political statements or a platform for statements in any case like most movies are these days the fast franchise simply seeks to let us escape and Vin Diesel Vin Diesel in this trailer acknowledges that so I'm glad we could draw a parallel here anyway there's a car blown up in the trailer the car has a number 01 on it which can be read as 2001 2001 being the initial year that Fast and the Furious released or began its franchise when Dom is flooring it to the cliff side you can actually see the blue NOS coming out the exhaust pipes at the back of the car. If I could just take 10 seconds out of your time, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting, as well as sharing this post on all forms of social media. Dom asks Letty if she's missing the old life. The old life he is making reference to is the life before the Fast and the Furious movies became these big action blow up stuff spy films. The old life is racing. You know Cypher in the last movie told Dom the most important thing in his life wasn't just family, it's that 10 seconds of freedom when he get when he starts a race. I think that Dom it was started thinking about this. And I think this means that by the end of the movie, we might get that classic barbecue scene. But most importantly, I think Letty and Dom will leave the team for good. It even lines up what we saw in the last trailer with Dom looking at that photo of Brian's family just purely happy. So I think at the end of the movie, we will see Dom and Letty step away from the team for good. To go back to maybe that life of racing that Dom ever so misses. To maybe go back to that old life, but to also incorporate his new family, his new happiness into it. Almost like it's a resurgence of what the Fast franchise used to be. Dom is cleaning off a shotgun while he's talking to Letty. The shotgun has been Dom's weapon of choice ever since the first Fast and Furious movie. Even Fast 5 and Fast 6 alone. And maybe some other movies too. Behind Tej in this scene those are the magnets that are being used prominently in the film then there is this guy who is catching a freaking car at first glance this looks like Dom but it's not what Dom is wearing in this scene so it can't be anyway last time we saw someone with these abilities was Idris Elba's character in Hobbs and Shaw with his super strength and what have you so the writers are clearly incorporating this plot point into the mainstream franchise then of course you got your Tokyo Drift and Han cameos which we've already seen in the previous trailer thank you all for watching what did I miss let me know down in the comments section below Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Recently, we had this massive surge of subscribers, and we 100% appreciate it. We thank you, everyone who has subscribed so far, and will continue to. I appreciate your support. Noah and I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day, folks.